Well, hello, everybody. I want to talk to you about something that is just, I had to fact check it. I had to look and see, and the information I'm finding, I'll share with you. But I started off by asking um, Copilot to look into it, and this is what was said. I looked into the claim about DOD Directive 5240.01. Here's what I found. The updated DOD Directive 5240.01, reissued on September 27, 2024, indeed governs the Department of Defense's intelligence activities. The new version includes provisions that allow for the use of lethal force in certain circumstances when assisting civilian law enforcement. However, it explicitly forbids assassination. The directive's language allows for lethal actions under imminent threats to national security. This update has raised concerns about the potential for misuse, but it does not equate to a blanket authorization for the military to kill Americans on U.S. soil without due process. If you have any more questions or need further clarification, feel free to ask. Well, this is where I heard it from, and that's why I wanted to fact check it. And let's play this. What he says, this is Ron, Ron Paul. Start off with a headline from Zero Hedge. It's yeah. a pretty hot, hot headline. U.S. military now is authorized to kill Americans on U.S. soil. Mm. That's, mm. That can't be possible. Yeah. This would open up the door for the careless uh, use and if more frequent and legal. It'll yeah. be legal now, so nobody will have to worry about that. Send in the troops. We need you to shoot a couple of these people. Yeah. They, they, they're opposing our policies. They're demonstrating against COVID rules or something they'll come up with. So I think it's very, very dangerous. Uh, so here it is. Now, Zero Hedge picked it up from Armageddon Pros, which is a, uh, which is a sub stack which they often run. Uh, it says, uh, U.S. military now authorized to kill Americans on U.S. soil? Just ahead, intriguingly, of November elections, and that was my second thought, the military has granted itself permission to unleash, unleash lethal force on the civilian population. This sounds even more troubling. I want to go look at the document itself. And so go to the next one. I actually went and looked at the DOD directive. It's DOD Directive 5240.01. Now go to the next one. I'm just going to get to this really quick so I can just so people this is on their own website. Now this is section three of that directive, assistance to law enforcement agencies and other civil authorities. Now go to the next one. Now this is levels of authority. This is section 3.3. Defense intelligence components may provide personnel to assist a federal department or agency, including a federal law enforcement agency or a state or local law enforcement agency when lives are in danger, in response to such a request for such assistance in accordance with the following approval authorities. Now, here are the authorities. I, I'm sorry to get so far into the woods here, but go to the next one. Responding with assets with potential for lethality. And I underline this. I, I highlighted it. Or any situation where it is reasonably foreseeable that providing the requested assistance may involve the use of force that is likely to result in lethal force including death or serious bodily injury. Wow, that's, that's, that's sad to hear that. But, um, yeah. I'm going to enter into a blog page, and while I'm doing it, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do that. And let me, let me click back up here. These three dots, you go there, embed. You hit that, and then you hit. you got two choices. You can make it look like a video just a frame or you can make it look like an embedded uh, X post. I'm going to go with the frame and I get the frame. I copy it right there. Then I go up here to already have it laid out with uh, cues. Okay. And then I tell it to go to the format where I find the cues. That's how I see through the matrix. There they are down there. If you didn't know, you wouldn't, you'd never know it. But I, I highlight that and then I just cut and paste and then I hit preview and I go back, I make it update and then I refresh it and there it is. It's inside of this blog. 
this is a John Kennedy blog. This is a real, real interesting subject he's talking about. I encourage everybody to jump over to my blog page at buddyhuggins.com or buddyhuggins.blogspot.com. But search my name, Buddy Huggins. If you search it in DuckDuckGo, you'll find all of my uh, years and years of posts. But if you search it in um, other search engines, you might not find all the good information that you're looking for. But uh, we never give up. We never give in. We love and we just desire to have truth come forth because we know that when we have disclosure, it is the end of all the dirty deeds that can be done in the dark. And we're able and capable of hearing what has gone on in this reality. So we got to be the change we wish to see in this world. You got to start cleaning your body up and your mind and your spirit and start eating um, good food, real food, healthy food. So that's for sure. All right. I thought I'd make this video and um, let you know that the DOD has got another agenda to rehear all this and to see on to here. I'll post more information, links, and things like that. But I just want to show you how I... Um, fact check something using Google Copilot. And uh, let me jump back over here to the the interface for Google Copilot and the different stories, Hedge, and then that one there, and then the USA one right here. The story's real, people. That's the story of the day. It's real. <laughs> it doesn't mean that Anything's going to happen with it. It just means that people that don't have your and I's best interest at heart are actually putting into place to try to tell us how they're going to want us to be and how we, they're going to want us to act. Well, you can cut my head off because I know the truth about who I am and what this world is. I'll never cave back into being asleep and being trusting anything outside of myself in this physical world that thinks they have authority over me. No, can't go back to sleep. Thank y'all for watching my channel. I really appreciate it. I'm learning as I move along. Thank you for allowing me to show you some of these tips and tricks. And that's what this is. This is just us both learning. And I said both, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm talking to you one at a time. I don't know how many are going to watch this video, but I'm just saying both of us. Me and you. That's all there ever is and ever will be. <laughs> Y'all have a good night. Talk to you later.